Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a fantasy wax haul. Now, disclaimer, I know I am filming and uploading this in 2023, but I did purchase this at the end of 2022. I have not, knock on wood, purchased any wax in 2023. I'm really, really trying to dwindle down my vendor wax collection, but I knew I needed to purchase the Planahanna collaboration with Fantasy Wax. Spoiler, I picked up two of them. But before I get into what I got, I'm going to do the samples. I always forget to do the samples for Fantasy Wax. I don't know why, I just always forget. And her samples typically are a little piece of a snap bar. So the first sample I have is Apple Cinnamon Streusel. I love her new labels on the samples. I think it's so cute that she adds the names. And this is nice. This is a very rich apple cinnamon -y scent with a hint of bakery. So really like that one. And then the other one I got was in Wild Berry Mousse. And I love that she does more simplified scent oils because then I can really experience them. That's how I fell in love with tea and cakes. And this is so good. Wild Berry Mousse is so yummy. It's just like a blend of strawberry, blueberry, blackberry with a really, really creaminess undertone. So really like that. Now, before I get into the collab items, I did pick up some scent shots. I got some from her core line. Now, I will say I do have a coupon code, Drew10, for 10% off if you're interested in ordering some fantasy wax. I'll leave the link down below. All of her core scents are available all year long. She did just do a limited release Harry Potter. I did not purchase that, but apparently it sold out like lickety split. And I believe I'm uploading this on Monday. So I do believe that this Friday, don't quote me, but typically with the way her schedule is, I think the 20th, she's doing a Valentine's Day collab and or collection. And oh, it's going to be so hard for me not to purchase them. But I'm holding my ground. I'm not purchasing anything. I need to work on the wax that I have now. But with, I have like a little hair in my eye. Um, but with these core scents, I got four core scents in just singles because I only have singles in my collection. And I typically, especially with the Fantasy Wax scent shots, like to have two. That way, if I want to do them in my living room, I can do them in half in four warmers. Or if I just want to do it in my bedroom, I just use one. But I like to have at least two on hand. So these are four that I went through my collection and I did not have seconds of. So the first one is Boyfriend Hoodie. Now, Boyfriend Hoodie is Bergamot tangerine, and jasmine. It's a pretty light blue color with some glitter. And this is just a very aquatic, fresh, masculine fragrance. I really like this when I have company coming over and if they're going to be seeing my bedroom. Anyway, um, I really like to have a scent like this. Just a very fresh, masculine scent. I don't really think they want to be smelling like strawberry pound cake or sugar cookie royale. I do, but I don't think that's like what everybody loves. So I like to have some more masculine scents for the bedroom. And then I picked up Dark Roast, which is her core coffee. There we go, Dark Roast. And it's just fresh brewed coffee. And I love how simple this is. It's simply just a brown wax with just a little bit of decoration on the top. And yeah, it smells like freshly brewed black coffee. I don't think it's very creamy or anything like that, which... To be honest, this might be nice mixed with like wild berry mousse as like a fruity coffee, a little bit of creamy or the perfect opportunity for those blender bags to like mix this with like cream cheese frosting or something like that. Excited to try it out. And then next I have cereal and milk and I will be honest. Okay, I'm going to tilt this, but it's going to fall everywhere. Here we go. So it's like loaded with little pieces of cereal. Put that right back in there. Um... And this does, this smells more like Fruit Loops than like the Fruity Pebbles. I know the oils are all a little bit different, but it definitely smells like Fruit Loops and milk. I still love how Vendor Wax can capture like cereal scents in wax. I think that's so fun. But for this one in particular, I'm not the hugest fan of cereal scents. They're just not in my wheelhouse. Like I'm not like, oh my God, a cereal scent. I need to pick it up. 
But there's some days that I'm just in the mood to smell cereal. So when I am having like a little scent shot like this is perfect because it's just the right amount for when I have that craving. And then I picked up Happy Birthday, which this one is vanilla, buttercream, and powdered sugar. And look how fun it looks like. The most delicious funfetti cupcake in the world. A hot pink with a bunch of rainbow um, non preel sprinkles. And yeah, it's just like a rich vanilla cupcake. I'm probably going to save this and melt this on my actual birthday, which is in March. So give it some cure time, save it up, and pop that in the warmers on my birthday. I love having those scents for birthdays. Just drop them. I also picked up two core scents in two. One I had before, and one is new to me. I'll start with the new to me, and it is in peppermint sticks. So I picked up two of these. Peppermint is not always my go-to, but again, sometimes I'm just craving it. And look at the pretty gold glitter with the single little peppermint candy. I love that. And this is it. It just smells like a candy cane. Really, really fresh, bright peppermint. And again, these are the scents why I like Fantasy Wax, especially with the scent shots, is if I'm just craving a peppermint scent, I don't have to like cut up a loaf or grab a big piece of a brittle or anything like that. I can just take a little bit of a scent shot in a warmer and it gives me the craving for that day. So that's why I love scent shots. And then I picked up two of the most delicious ever zucchini bread sugar cookie royale. I love this. This is magical. The sugar cookie royale just makes this smell like the most buttery, rich, decadent zucchini bread you've ever eaten in your life. It's like the zucchini bread is still warm, and then you just slathered it with butter and put it on a skillet, almost, is like what I get. It's like buttery, it's rich, it's decadent, it is beautiful, it's gorgeous, fabulous, obsessed. Now, I had three in my last order. I had to pick up three more of Kirsten's fave 2022. This is no longer available when I'm filming this, but this is fantastic. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. No, it's not. This was December. Never mind. I'm losing it. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Pretzel. I talked about it in my last Fantasy Wax haul. It's everything I love. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Pretzel. All in one. It smells so good. And look at how beautiful. It's like giving me under the sea, Tiffany blue, delicious beautiful gemstone vibes. I love this. I hope it's available in a pre-order because I will participate in a Fantasy Wax pre-order if she does one because that way some sense that I might have missed out I can stock up on. All right, now let's talk about the Planet Hannah collab. This guy's sold out so fast and I'm sharing this because you never know if these scents will come back but we have the beautiful label Planet Hannah collab with like these black stars and the purple font. I'm obsessed, and they do come in poly bags. They're exactly the same. There's eight snap bars in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up. The first snap bar we have, now these are all inspired by Hannah here on YouTube, Planet Hannah. I'll link her YouTube channel down below. Definitely check her out. Love her. The first one we have is Kindergarten Cry Baby, and it is a pink snap bar. So I typically use about two cubes of a snap bar in a warmer. So it's nice that I do have the two, um, the two um, bundles. So that way I was able to use them in like my open concept. This one, Kindergarten Cry Baby, Strawberry Jam, Peanut Butter, and Zucchini Bread. Totally up my alley. All of these scents are just amazing to me. And this is no exception. It's the Nutty Peanut Butter. It's the Rich Fruity Strawberry Jam with a little bit of that yummy, yummy, warm zucchini bread. I love this one. Next one, oh, there are some that I'm not a huge fan of. This one is Hubs. Now, this one is Coffee Bean, Peppermint, and Sugar Cookie Royale. A little interesting with the peppermint in there. However, yeah, it's still very interesting to me. It's definitely not one, like, I would ever blend. Like, so coffee, coffee bean and sugar cookie royale sounds delicious, but then adding a little bit of peppermint, it's nice. It's definitely like a peppermint coffee. I have to really melt this and see if it comes alive in the warmer, but right now... It's my least favorite on cold. 
just a little interesting, the combination, but I think this is like all of Hannah's husband's favorite scents. So there you go. The next one is Simply Sweet, and this is really simple, zucchini bread and salted caramel with just a little bit of fun gold glitter on it there like that. And this is so yummy, you guys. I love the bit of the delicious gooey caramel with the zucchini bread. Oh, that's just so nice. Kirsten has such a yummy zucchini bread. I love her zucchini bread oil. And then mixed with a salted caramel is heaven. Next is Zuko and Iroh, I believe is how you say it. I think these are anime characters from what I remember her saying in her video. And this is cinnamon rolls, tea and cakes, and mallow fireside. I've been telling you guys I've been loving tea and cakes lately, so I had to try this. And this is really nice. Tea and cakes is such an awesome, awesome scent. It truly, to me, smells like hot tea and moist yellow cake. So mixed with like a sticky cinnamon roll and a little bit of toasted marshmallow, this is divine. This is so yummy, so rich. I think this will be perfect on like a really, really cold night. All snuggled up in bed. Next is Hogwarts is Home, and this is zucchini bread, sugar corn pudding, and sugar milk. Here we go, like that, snap bar. I don't love sugar corn pudding um, as a note. And yeah, this one's okay to me. It's definitely, you definitely pick up on the sugar milk, which to me personally, sugar milk leans a little bit sour milk, but I love the zucchini bread. And the sugar corn pudding just gives it a little bit more of a savory decadent note. So I'll be very curious to see how that one warms. Next, oh, I love this. This is The Traveler. This is French baguette, tea and cakes, and a cinnamon glazed baklava. So all of the delicious baked goods. I immediately get tea and cakes. I think now that I've like experienced tea and cakes and what it is, I can so detect it in everything. And that's no exception here. I definitely detect the tea and cakes. It's a rich, moist, delicious tea. The cinnamon glazed baklava adds just a hint of like a rich, nutty cinnamon bakery. I'm not getting any French baguette on cold, but I know that's like one of my favorite oils. So on warm, I'm sure it'll come out. This one, I'm obsessed with the packaging. This is Gotta Catch Em All, or the, the actual bar itself. Look how fun this is. This is like a yellow bar with like a fun black glitter. And this is lemon pound cake, pie crust, and zucchini bread. Yum. Hello. And this is so good. This, I will say, the zucchini bread and the pie crust mellows out the lemon pound cake tremendously. So it makes it a very calm, creamy lemon pound cake, which I really like. I really, really like this one. It's warm. It's decadent. And the lemon pound cake definitely does not come across as a, like, cleaner lemon, which is awesome. And then last... How fun, Hannah Banana. And Hannah Banana is zucchini bread, banana nut bread, and sugar cookie royale. Delish. I love banana bread. And now Kirsten did say in the video, this does lean a little bit towards like a runty banana on cold. But when you warm it, the banana really comes alive, which with banana nut bread, I totally believe it. And then again, that rich, buttery, decadent, delicious sugar cookie royale. Oh, I love this so much. Yum. It's so delish as I almost drop it. But yeah, I love this Planet Hannah collab. I think it's so fun. Look at all the fun colors. I'm obsessed. So super excited for this. Super excited for Hannah. I'm excited to put this stuff away and enjoy melting my collection. Let me know, did you pick anything up from the Fantasy Wax collection? I hope you guys are having an incredible week. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much. I'll talk to you later. Be kind. Bye guys.